honestly a blissfulness that I never experienced it and I've just never known to be so amazing. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is a place where we talk life, productivity, and money. So if those sound like things that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. So you want to eat for $50 a week? Let yourself, let me help you. I'm here, I've been there. I've tried to live on $50 a week for food and I have, my boyfriend and I, two of us, and it is not that hard. And I can teach you how we did it and how you can do it too. Yeah, I ain't expecting you to spend $50 a week at the grocery store. $50 a week adds up to $200 a month. And yes, I do believe that it's possible to feed two people on $200 a month relatively easily. I'm gonna share with you some great grocery saving tips for how to plan meals on a budget, how to grocery shop on a budget, just some great overall money saving tips. When it comes to groceries, a lot of people feel like that's an area that you can't save money. It's just going to be expensive because food is just expensive. And honestly, it's, it really doesn't have to be that way. If you grocery shop strategically, you can save yourself a lot of money. I'm just gonna share with you some of the things that I did to make my life so much easier and so much cheaper during those times. So the first thing really is you want to grocery shop as little as possible. You want to find the least amount of times that you can go to the grocery store as you can. If it's the free for you, that might be once a week, it might be once every two weeks. It might be once a month if you wanna go extreme. You know, that's, that's the kind of person I am. I hate going to the grocery store, but some people have bigger families. You know, you do you with your, your own needs. But I find that the less amount of times that you find yourself in the grocery store, the less likely you're going to be to spend money on food and things that you just don't need or you wouldn't have bought regularly. When you're going to the grocery store to only pick up a couple of things, how many times do you actually come out with only those couple of things? Usually there's one, two, maybe a lot more than that things in your cart that you didn't intend to buy. Bulk buying for specific needs is literally the best thing you could do. So stay your family that eats a lot of rice. Why are you only buying it one pack at a time, you know? When it goes on sale for a dollar a pack for like two kilograms worth of rice, buy four of them. You know, if you're eating a lot of rice, it's good to have on hand. It's probably gonna last a couple years, you know? And uh, you save yourself in the long run, even if it might only be like 30, 40 cents, whatever, it eventually adds up over time. And it's like, honestly, a blissfulness that I've never experienced it and I've just never known to be so amazing. But having things, like when I run out of instant coffee and I go to the pantry and I'm just pulling out another container of instant coffee and I don't have to go grocery shopping just to buy more coffee, it's the best feeling in the world. Being prepared is the best feeling in the world. A lot of people think that it's impractical living on $50 a week for a food budget because of how expensive meat can be. Over the past few months, I have discovered the best store that I've ever been in. It is a warehouse grocery store that does not require a monthly or yearly membership. You can just go in and bulk buy your food and meats and all that kind of stuff and you don't actually have to pay them every year for a membership or show a card or anything like that. Anybody can walk in. Let me tell you, when I found this place, it was like phew, best thing I've ever heard. Like it's honestly my favorite store and I honestly try to shop exclusively at this warehouse grocery store because it is, it makes my life so much easier. <laughs> And so when you're bulk buying, buying things like meats, at this wholesale place, I bought three kilograms of ground beef 
for $19.99, okay? There's no way I could have gotten that much ground beef in those individual little packets at the grocery store for $19.99. So when I buy the three kilogram tube of ground beef, I cut it open and I separate it into like one pound bags, freezer bags, and I lay them flat. I get to freeze it all nicely in just a little flat bag and I stack them in my freezer so that way anytime I need ground beef, it's not frostbitten. It lasts literally for months and it only costs me like $2.90 each for a pack of ground beef when it also has way more and that much ground beef would normally cost me like six or seven dollars if I was just to go to the grocery store and buy that same meat this week because I wanted to make a dinner with it. It's not worth it. Wouldn't it be nice to just open your freezer and have it already be in there? The thing about bulk buying when it comes to meats and vegetables, which are my favorite things to bulk buy, honestly, I could not live my life without bulk buying frozen vegetables. I know bulk buying meats and vegetables and things like that can be really hard when you don't have um, a chest freezer or like a lot of freezer space because let me tell you, it really can fill up a significant amount of freezer space. You gotta look for options for you. But I have this nice tall chest freezer that we are able to store a lot of meats in and bread, things like that. I try and keep everything frozen. Honestly, if I'm buying food and it can't be frozen or it can't just sit on a shelf and not perish, I don't really want to buy it. If it's going to spoil within the next week or two and there's nothing that I can do about that, that I, I don't want that kind of negativity in my life. Oh, also, freezing homemade food. Like, say you're making shepherd's pie. If you're making shepherd's pie for tonight, why not just make it double the recipe, make it in a second container, and freeze it? That way you got a homemade shepherd's pie that is cheaper than store-bought, tastes way better than store-bought, and that's another meal for a night. You don't gotta make your dinner. You already did it, and it's such a time saver, such a money saver, it's great. You can freeze all kinds of things, like shepherd's pie, lasagna, marinara, sauces of all kinds. You know, it's the things that you can freeze is endless. Do some research, it's amazing. So if, if you can freeze it, mama likes it. So now I'm gonna share with you guys how I um, come up with a kind of meal plan that is really inexpensive. What kind of meals can you put together that are quick, easy, inexpensive and have it taste really good still, you know? I think a lot of people think that when you don't have a lot of money for food, you're going to be eating like Mr. Noodles all the time and that's that's all you can afford, you know? But it's not true. You actually can make really good food with frozen vegetables, frozen meats, with seasonings that you buy in bulk, you know? It really, you can make food that tastes good. And it's all about the seasonings that you buy and making sure that you have condiments in the fridge that you constantly are using, you know? If you like things spicy, maybe it's good to have sriracha on hand, you know? If you like making stir fries a lot, it might be good to have like some fish sauces and oyster sauce and Worcestershire sauce, all kinds of stuff. If that's the kind of stuff that you make all the time or that's the kind of food that you enjoy, you know? It's about adjusting things to make them fit what you really like and then finding ways to adjust the recipe or adjust the ingredients to make them the least expensive that you possibly can. And doing that is not based on changing like the integrity of the recipe, it's finding where you can buy those ingredients significantly cheaper. Grocery stores that are a little nicer, they have wider aisles, the foods are priced a little bit higher, Usually those are higher end grocery stores and you're going to be paying a premium on the food. You know, you pay extra for those perks and for those shopping, you know, that, that experience. You're paying for the experience. And so when you find places that you can buy the same kind of foods 
in bulk that are still quality foods. Some of the things there are real gems. Like if you have kids and you need, you go through a lot of granola bars, why are you buying them in boxes of five? You know, why aren't you buying the boxes of 18 or the boxes of 20? If they're things that you know your family is going to eat or your significant other is going to eat, why are you not buying it in bulk? Honestly, it took me too long to figure it out. But if you're going to eat these foods anyway, we're the type of couple that really doesn't mind eating the same five or six types of meals every week for months at a time because they're convenient, they're cheap, they're easy, they're delicious, and uh, it's all about how to make those foods that you love already inexpensive. Make sure you have a plan for the food that you're buying. Why are you buying food if you don't have a plan on how you wanna use it or how you're gonna eat it? Because if you think that you're gonna figure out a way, oh, I'll use this in the recipe somehow, it, no, no you're not. It'll probably go bad before you figure that out because You'll think of foods that you really want to eat and enjoy throughout the week, and then at the end of the week, you're gonna open the drawer and be like, oh yeah, there was that thing that I wanted to make that thing with, but I never did that thing, and now it's rot. Don't be that person anymore. I am, and I can't live that life anymore, man. I just can't do it. I honestly, I love this pad, this pad, it has so many uses. Favorite thing, dollar store, man. Dollar store is stepping up its game. I just love it. So it's a Sunday to Monday pad and you can organize your life, organize your meals, organize your to-do lists, organize your schoolwork, organize your work work, organize whatever you want. Monday to Sunday, Sunday to Saturday, really. Fucking great. So let me show you how bulk buying can actually make really good foods pretty inexpensive. Last night I kind of brain dumped this mess of different foods that we buy and how much they cost and on average how long they last. And so I'm going to use this to create um, a week of meal plans and a week of food that is going to cost under $50. Um, and the only way that this is possible is by buying in bulk. I also have a receipt from a grocery store that is one of the more expensive grocery stores in my area. And I used this receipt for some of these prices because some of the things that I do buy on my monthly grocery trips does come from that store. First things first. Honestly, we're the worst people for breakfast because we don't eat it very, very often. Um, but when we do try to, it's nothing usually very exciting. Okay, so soup is very inexpensive and such a great lunch option because you can make it and freeze it. So that's always great. In the summertime, we grow our vegetables here, which honestly is another huge tip if you wanna save money figure out how you can grow the vegetables that you love the most. If you love cucumbers, figure out how you can grow them. If you love tomatoes, figure out how you can grow them. This year, we're growing a ton of cucumbers, tomatoes, jalapenos, um, hot Hungarian peppers. We've got carrots, we've got um, green onions. Honestly, there's so many things that you can grow. Oh, even zucchini and spaghetti squash. And this is for two people, remember. Um, I did all this math last night again. This is for what food costs in my area. Things may be differently priced, more expensive, less expensive where you live. Find out what works for you and where you can get things the cheapest. Now that I have all of these numbers written down, I can add them all up and see what happens. All right, so totaling all of this up, you get a grand total, $46.00. And 90, let's see, 96 cents. For the most part, foods that you buy can be bought in bulk and can be, you know, broken down to something that looks like this. This is by no means a diet plan. This is eating three times a day to survive on $50 a week when you want to eat. That's what this is. All right, I hope some of these tips and tricks may have helped you or got you thinking on different ways that you could save money on your groceries and kind of adjust your budget to put that money in the bank. 
If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and hit that subscribe button for content just like this every single Monday. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Toodaloo.